So I'm standing here with Helen Cooper from the UK company Grasshopper and uh, we are at the European Packaging Summit in Berlin and Helen, you yesterday you told the audience a little bit about Grasshopper and your success. Can you tell us also a little bit about the company? Yeah, sure, Bob. Um, Grasshopper was founded in 2005 by two sisters who were very keen windsurfers and divers in the English Channel, which is very cold. And they decided they needed something which was more sustaining than a piece of toast when they were going out on the waves. And in fact, they were the first people to ever put a premix of porridge into a pot that you just add hot water to. So a whole industry was sparked from that point. Okay, and um, as far as I understand, the company has been a success. You, you're doing well in UK. Can we say that, uh, I mean, uh, no doubt that the content, the food is very good, but can we also say that uh, the package has a very important role in the success? Packaging is effectively our product. There's no, nothing which is more important than that or more distinctive. When the girls first put the porridge into the pots, that sparked a whole lot of copycats. And so in 2011, when I joined the company as CEO, they needed to do something that was quite different from the normal standard paper pot. And so by talking with our consumers, that's when we came up with our invention, which is the, the hopper pot, which is an entirely new form of collapsible portable food packaging. Okay, and as far as I understand, you're sort of an entrepreneur, of course. Uh, it wasn't easy. The packaging industry is quite complex, and it isn't easy to come in with new thoughts and new ideas. Tell us a little bit about that. It's very difficult. Of course, having an idea is quite simple. Um, and talking with our customers, they always have lots and lots of good ideas. But realizing them, making them get down the production line and onto a shelf is incredibly difficult. Our business is an entirely outsourced business. And so when you are basically working with other suppliers, with other groups, you have to really be able to communicate your idea from the very start. And we did have some failures. We had pots that just did not compress. And bearing in mind that really our, our hopper pot is an entirely new form, this is something which the food business hadn't seen before. So we were really inventing things that were very complex and using packaging and plastics in a way that they hadn't been used before. And what is then the secret with the package? Can you tell us about that? Um, the, the difference of this package versus anything else which you may have seen, which is a, a compressing pack, is that this activates when you add the hot water that's required to make the food inside. So in here, there may be a dried porridge or a dried soup, dried s noodles, um, but you add the hot water and that actually activates the plastic, which makes the pot grow to a size which you then can eat from. Okay, and the consumers love this? They love it, and children love it as well. Um, they love the way the pack just grows. It's kind of magical for them as well. So it's a bit of fun, and certainly it makes people smile. And that's obviously part of the emotional engagement of a brand, which is so important. So it's also become food for the children, not only for people who are active out in, in the nature. Absolutely. Children are loving this. And what it's allowing parents to do is to almost feed them healthy food because they want this every day, every morning. They must have that porridge and it's got to be in that pot that grows, mum. So parental approval, that's great. So you're, you're based in UK and there's the main market, but you're also exporting some of, of your products. Yes, we didn't really start out to export at all, but um, we went to an airline show back in 2012 in Hamburg and a number of customers from airlines like Finnair and so on found us. And so we now are exporting to Iceland. Uh, wow Air are using it on their trips between London and uh, Reykjavik, um, into Finland, where they're selling it into travel customers and trains, and into I Ireland, Lithuania. It's getting around. So, uh, for and their reason is, of course, uh, good food, but at the same time, space saving. Absolutely. Space saving is absolutely critical, particularly if you're looking at an airline where a lot of their profit now is coming from the buy on board market rather than being something which is coming through tickets. The tickets actually are a very low part of any cost of flying. So with the menus that they now have, that's a huge profit center. If they run out of a soup or a porridge halfway down an airline, that's a serious dent in their takings for that flight. So we're allowing them to load up with twice as many products as they would normally have in a standard pot 
and that's why it's so popular. If some food industry is interested in your product, is it possible just to buy the package and, and, and pack their own products in it, or do they need to buy the whole concept from you? Right now, this is a grasshopper initiative, and it's something which is allowing us to differentiate ourselves as a small, relatively new company, so that's important. At some point, maybe in the future, we would look at licensing it, but certainly for now, we believe that the brand of grasshopper and the hopper pot is something that has to be synonymous. Okay, and the size of the hopper pots is uh, it's just one size? You, you have different sizes? This is just the one size right now, um, but there are always plans in place for looking at how we might do smaller ones or some larger ones as well.